Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea and I am currently trying to conceive through IVF with my husband, Eric. Thank you so much for clicking into this video. If you're curious where our journey is gonna take us, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can be notified on all the new updates. Today I'm going to update you on where we're at in this IVF process. Um, we're currently getting ready to uh, start our frozen embryo transfer process, which is kind of the second half, like the big time part of the IVF process. And um, my last update was me finding out that I had a cyst on my left ovary, a rather large cyst that is prohibiting me from beginning the transfer process. And so if you're curious as to where we're at today, just a week later, um, how I'm feeling and what our next steps are, go ahead and keep watching. Like I said, we are in sort of the second phase of IVF, which is the frozen embryo transfer. So sometimes you can, sometimes people will do a fresh embryo transfer, but we opted for a frozen embryo transfer so that we could do PGS testing or the genetic testing of our embryos. Um, and you can't do that testing unless you do a frozen transfer. Anyway, I'm getting into like lots of logistics here, but... Um, I will link actually some videos. I will link the PGS testing video I did up here so you guys can check that out. Um, okay, but where I'm at right now. So last week, like I said, we found out I had a cyst on my left ovary. Um, I had no idea that I would have a cyst there. Like, no idea. Just went into that <sighs> ultrasound just thinking like that night we were going to begin estradiol shots and, you know, it was just kind of like a routine checkup thing. I didn't think they would actually find anything. That's kind of how my story goes. I just, oh, well, that won't happen to me, but it, it, it did. <laughs> so it's not a major setback, but it is a setback. And honestly, I'm feeling frustrated. Um, I have been feeling actually pretty lonely this week. Um, disappointed. Um, it really only sets us back three to four weeks hopefully, as long as I can pass my next baseline ultrasound checkup. Um, but yeah, it's just been sad, a sad week, honestly. Not the saddest I've ever been in the past four years of trying to conceive, but um, just a down week. I feel like I've been desperately searching for more support. Um, more people to connect with that are going through what I'm going through who have um, faced any amount of infertility uh, struggles or especially people who have like had canceled transfer uh, transfers that like th were coming up um, and then were just basically just canceled like mine um, just to feel like I'm not alone and just to you know just to connect and gather some more support because that's like what I need part of me the more I talk about it the better so I've been talking a lot to my sisters to my husband of course um and just to anyone that will basically listen so thank you for clicking on this video and listening to me I appreciate that honestly I do I appreciate the community that has kind of grown on here and the support I've been given um and that I'm able to connect with people on YouTube. It's like, it's crazy, but, um, I appreciate it. So, um, okay. So I wanted to show you guys, so where we're at right now, um, other than how I'm feeling, <laughs> obviously I'm a little bit down. Um, but I have my days, you know, it's kind of just a roller coaster, but we did meet with our IVF coordinator today, um, to go over the plan as of now. So I am currently on birth control, which is supposed to suppress or supposed to help the cyst like just go away so that hopefully I'm ready to start um, our transfer process accord like according to this schedule, this calendar that she gave me. Um, 
so that's the hope. So I'm really just like crossing my fingers and just trying to be positive that the birth control is going to do its job and it's going to help me get to the point where I'm ready to start. Um, honestly, I have been on birth control since mid June and I don't love it. I, I feel like the stim shots from the beginning of IVF were less, I don't know, other than feeling bloated. I just, I don't like how I feel when I'm on birth control. I haven't been as hormonal as I usually, well, <laughs> I haven't been as hormonal as I remember being when I was on birth control years ago, like nine years ago. I wasn't ever on birth control for very long, so. Okay, so I met with our IVF coordinator today. Um, she walked us through the calendar. It was basically an appointment like we've already had um, back in June when we were initially starting the frozen embryo transfer process. So um, she walked us through the calendar and she could have just done this over the phone and she offered to do that, but I really wanted to like go to the clinic. It's only a few minutes, it's like a few minutes away really. Um, and I really wanted to just meet with her. I hadn't seen her in a month and I really like her and um, I just feel like she's very understanding and I wanted to be present at the fertility center because I just felt like I hate waiting around and it feels like that's what we're doing um, until we're ready to start. And so I wanted to be there so that I felt like we were doing something and we were... <laughs> Um, I don't know. And I just felt like it would be so much easier to ask questions if I was just there with her. So we, um, met with her at the office and, um, she gave us our calendar and like I said, it was basically the same kind of meeting. She walked us through each step of the calendar. Um, it's over two months because we're in July right now. Um, only the second week of July. So, um, I will stop birth control next week, then get my baseline ultrasound, which is that one that I need to find out that I don't have a cyst. That's what we're hoping for. Um, that's on during the last week of July, excuse me. And then, um, from there, like the first week of August basically is when I'm going to start everything as long as everything's good to go. So that is when I will start. Um, yeah, so I have a transfer date and I originally thought, I mean, I told you guys, like I've said so many times on this, <laughs> that I'm not going to share my transfer date, but I don't know. I think I might because I feel like I just need as much support and people rooting for us as possible. And I don't know. I don't know. I may or may not. I, don't, I haven't decided yet. I haven't even talked to Eric about this. Um, we originally decided that we weren't going to tell everyone like the, like not even really a lot of family, like it was going to be just a very, just a couple people who'd tell them our transfer date. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll let you guys know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, did you tell people your transfer dates? So those of you who've been through a transfer, like, did you tell people the day that you were transferring? The main thing is I just don't want to put extra pressure on myself. Um, I don't want people asking like, or knowing I guess when our potential like pregnancy test would be or beta test. Um, because then I know I just, I'll just put pressure on myself. So anyway, um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've told people transfer day and it wasn't like as big of a deal. Like if it was more beneficial than like annoying, <laughs> if that makes sense. Not annoying, you know, just people like they'll ask, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Help me. Um, okay, so that's pretty much the update for this week. I um, I hope I can get feeling a little bit more positive and happy and not so down on myself. So, yeah, I'm going to go hang out with my sister and family this weekend. And, um, yeah, I hope that can get feeling happy and positive like I want to be but so yeah thank you so much for tuning in today watching this video um and for all the support like I said it, I really appreciate it and I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in my next video bye